Hey YouTube, I'm back. It's almost Rose here and I wanted to do another um, wig review. This is another lace wig and it is by Free Trust Equal. It's a lace front natural hairline and the style is Gina, G-E-N-A. So it might be pronounced Jenna. But anyways, it's very long. Um, let's see. I don't see... Uh, how long it is but um, I'll show you this is how long like the front ends are and then this is it all the way in the back and then pull to the side in the front so it's very long and very full the color is F1B 33130 um, so let's get down to it. First of all, this is the packaging that it comes in. Um, it has the picture of the model on the card, and it shows two views so you know that you can put it in a ponytail if you want. And out of the package, she pretty much looked like that. Um, because she was all netted up and everything, I had to finger comb the curls out, but they pretty much hung like that. And then you can put her in an updo. Just got my hair rebraided, so hopefully my nape is a lot cleaner than it was the last time I showed you an updo. So if you can see that. Um, I haven't really worn her in a high updo. I've worn her more in just like low ponytails, but I haven't worn her that much. Um, but I plan on wearing her this whole week. Anyways, she is, uh, from Shake and Go Hair, smghair.com, and I don't think I got her from there. I, I actually got her from Beauty, um, of New York, and it was kind of cool because I think it's my second time ordering from them, and they gave me a, a, cal a calendar for the year. I'm recording? Okay. my husband he just woke up he works nights so anyways it did have a very natural hairline in the front and the back um it shows you here let's see baby hairline ear to ear lace and baby hair in the back and it did have all that and um, you might have been able to see the baby hair in the back when I pulled it up just now I don't know um, but it just creates a nice transition it's that really curly baby hair so it makes it look like um, you press your hair out and you just didn't get the little edges which normally I'm not able to get anyway so that was kind of neat but as you can see I the baby hair I have now is a little different I'll talk about that um, the cap is inside out in this picture so it shows you how much lace you have and you have quite a bit of lace but like halfway into where the hair is on the lace you get stitching so you can't customize it like crazy and then it has um some regular wig lace um like traditional wig lace around the edges and the crown and then um regular tracks in the back and it does have combs it's got two combs in the front and they actually meet up here which is a little different i think it's got what's called like metal tabs at the temp at the ears but i don't quite know how to use them that well so i still bobby pinned the um those down and then it has a comb in the back and i think it's a really nice secure fit it does have the adjustable strap too and i didn't really have to use it that much um let me see. It says, new front and rear realistic baby hair for the ultimate natural look. Express your natural and glamorous updo. Iron safe Futura fiber for flexible freedom styling. I haven't heat styled it yet because it's um, the newest wig I've gotten. And this will be my first time really wearing it. So I'm kind of just letting it play out the way it normally does. And hassle-free secure fitting with no glue, no tape feature. That is true because the front edge of the cap is very secure. But if you want to mess with your hair during the day like you would your normal hair, you might feel self-conscious about the fact that you might get uh, lifting from time to time, especially on the sides here. So I made a different video already that shows you um, what I do 
to um, have like uh, an alternative way of bonding because the sides of my own hair do come out past the wig here. And if you use, if you just use straight up like regular glue, especially the white glue that seems to be pretty popular, you're going to have a lot of residue and flaking. So um, I will amend that with one thing. If you take a look at that video about the reapplication, um, because I did have to reapply, I, instead of using two layers of the same product um, with the hairsprays that I use, I just used one layer of this. And then I got some Meron Spirit Gum. And this is the 16 ounce refillable bottle, like refill bottle that you put in the little bottles. And I'm like, why am I going to do that? Because this is more packaging. So I just got the big one. And I like it. It goes on clear, dries clear. It dries fairly firm. And um, don't be too scared about it drying fast, even though it does dry quickly compared to other... Um, adhesives it's not going to dry before you put your lace wig on if you already have it on and you have it flipped back and you put it all on at once I found that to be a lot easier than doing it section by section honestly that was my first time applying it so anyways um, let's get into the pros and cons pros are that this hair is very very soft I love the texture and it doesn't tangle that much. It's really shiny. And it behaves like, you know, your hair would. Probably not if you have really curly hair and and um, straightened it and then put some curls in it. Like my hair, my hair is like a, is, is in the range of three curls, you know, curl pattern three. And, um, it doesn't quite behave like this when I straighten it, but let's say if your hair was naturally a two and you blue dry it straight and left some wave in it or curl, then yeah, it would, um, it pretty much feels the same. Um, it moves a lot. It's very bouncy. It ponytails really nicely too. And it just, I don't know, I brushed the curls out some because I wanted a more loose look and it was very easy. Now, I did get um, another styling tool since I made my last video about this, the tools that I use that are good. And I'm really happy with this tool. It's by Goody. It's a finish brush. And I got it in the large size and the purse size because... It's tourmaline ionic ceramic, so not only does it prevent your hair from frizzing, but it also keeps it from, it, it's good detangling, keeps it from frizzing, and, okay, my, uh, my camera ran out of memory, so I had to go back and delete stuff that I've had for like a year, or, well, not quite a year, but almost. Anyways, can you turn it down just a little bit? Um it is also good for smoothing so I really like it and I think it okay sorry I'm back okay so yeah it's a really good brush and it will help maintain the life of your wig while you're wearing it um, until you you know uh, treat it and see I haven't even treated this one the way that I usually treat them so I think it's a very good wig um, because of how well it's behaving with that. So anyways, some things that I that I didn't really like about the wig when I first got it that I've kind of gotten used to is the fact that the baby hair was awfully curly. It was almost like a totally different texture. It was like a little afro hair right in the front and that kind of didn't look good because I don't know, you, you do miss some of your baby hairs when you're straightening your hair but you don't miss all of them around the whole perimeter. But what did change that fact was that I um, I put my widow's peak into this one as well, so it did cut into some of that baby hair, and that was why I decided to um, make some more. And all I did was I just took out the front perimeter um, with a fine tooth comb, cut it short, 
I've, I've gone over that before and then because it was so straight I took a, um, a curling iron to it and, and curled it under and then just combed it out and actually that worked out pretty well so uh, that was one thing also I didn't really like the color when I looked online at the swatch the color was a lot more like mixed in than this this is very streaky and chunky but when they showed the color I thought it was absolutely beautiful but it was not on the model it wasn't on the picture of the wig let me see if I can find that card again yeah mine is not exactly like this my colors are a little different and this wig has a lot more red in it than I'm used to it's like a a bright auburn almost orange in certain lights and from sometimes it makes me feel really self-conscious because it's not a color I've ever worn in it and I I feel like it looks fake but I haven't heard anything I haven't heard anybody say anything and if anything I've gotten positive response from it so I guess it's good and it doesn't quite show up on camera the way that it shows up in real life or even in like the same lighting like when I go to the gym I think it's really bright but it's also because it's winter and most people are going dark for winter and I did want a little bit of highlights but I don't know this might be better in the spring I mean it I don't know in the summer I don't know I'm, I'm starting to like it so whatever um I don't think there's really any like major cons like that I don't like otherwise I probably wouldn't be wearing it so that's it so if you are interested in finding this, it's again by Free Trust Equal. It is styled W L Gina G E N A, color F one B thirty three one thirty, and the shipping was very fast. I got it from Beauty of New York, and um, it's really good beginner wig. It's really long. It's smooth. It's easy to work with, easy to customize, and I would give this a four and a half out of five. All right, so talk to you later. Bye-bye.